Yo, 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 what is up, Halo fans? So we just got a huge update on MCC and what's going to be happening with it. So it seems like they do plan to uh, support this game still to this day, which is incredibly awesome. But, man, I feel like every time 343, like, addresses something, you know, on their waypoint or whatever, it always comes with a catch. And this one certainly did come with one, and a pretty massive one, in my opinion. So let's talk about the uh, pros here. So mod support... There's going to be a lot more for that. That's always awesome. That pretty much summarizes that. They're just going to be supporting mod support further. Um, we're getting new content like uh, cosmetics, it seems like. And they actually give us a few examples here, uh, which is like two armor sets that are like supposed to be like insects, I guess. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. I don't really dig this. Um, I personally would have preferred something that actually fits the Halo art style. But, uh, you know, some people like this stuff. Um, and yeah, I, I sometimes like some wacky armors too. There, I feel like there's a lot more armor in the universe that we don't know about that could have been implemented into MCC. Or maybe even some like infinite armor. Bring it to like MCC or something. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan on it. So yeah, it looks like we're going to be getting stuff like that. And you know, that's pretty much the pros. That's all the pros of uh, this update here. Of course, there's going to be like quality of life updates and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much like the pros right there. So now let's get to the cons or rather con. And so this is uh, microtransactions being added to uh, MCC. Yeah, that's right. Probably like a decade later and we're just now getting microtransactions <laughs> introduced into MCC, which I just find, I don't know, man. I mean, it's just kind of like out of nowhere. I mean, this game is how old? and i don't know man i mean they still update it to be fair but i don't know man i just find it kind of weird how all of a sudden they decided to add microtransactions to mcc and it makes me think that are they not making enough money on infinite to the point where they had to like come milk the older fans or something like that? i don't know i just find it i just find it funny um, and sad, because I personally, you know, I enjoy playing games and unlocking stuff through playing. You know, I always found that to be awesome. You know, games used to be like that back then. And it was awesome, you know, getting rewarded for playing the game. So so this microtransaction system basically just breaks that. And they're going to be renaming the seasonal points to Spartan points. I generally don't know what 343 has with Spartans. But, um, you know, Spartans are a big part of the Halo universe, yes. But like, you know, there's a lot more to <laughs> Halo Universe than, than Spartans. Um, and why would, I don't, I mean, this is just like, look, this is not a big issue, but I just find it s weird that like, 343, <laughs> why, why do they, why do they call everything like Spartan, like associate a lot of things with Spartan, Spartans, I, I don't know, man, I just find it kind of weird, um, I don't know, maybe I'm out of place in this, but like, you know, in Halo Infinite, when people asked about, like, why there isn't going to be, like, elites or something like that, their answer was because it's a Spartan story. Will there be playable elites in Halo Infinite? I don't know. Okay, that's another uh, big question. You know, similar to the last answer, uh, no, the, we're not currently planning on supporting elites as a, as a playable character in Infinite. And the reason is, you know, this is a, a Master Chief story. And a Spartan story, especially in multiplayer. We want to make sure that... I don't know, man. I just think it's funny. But <laughs> they just have, like, some kind of hard-on for the Spartan. I don't know. Anyways, let's move on here. So, yeah, you're going to be able to uh, purchase these Spartan points. Um, and, yeah, you won't even have to, like, you know, grind the challenges or do any of that. You could just literally buy all the stuff. And I just... I don't know, man. I mean, it's not the worst thing, but... I just personally would have preferred if they kept that out. Uh, that's the one thing I loved about MCC. It actually felt like a true, like, what's it called? Like a true dedication. I can't find the right term, but I'm just going to say that. Like, it actually felt like they were actually making, like, a true little, like, kind of, like, uh, man, I cannot find the right term. But anyways, I hope you guys understand me. Like, a true, like, you know, they dedicated that whole project to, like, you know, the old classic Halos, and it felt like that. Uh, you know, you didn't have these freaking microtransactions or anything kind of affecting the experience it kind of felt like a time capsule you know you go back you know play a little bit of mcc um and yeah you didn't have to go you didn't have to deal with any of like this modern gaming stuff like microtransactions and so personally for me i just don't enjoy it 
So their excuse for this, other than just getting more money, is because it might be overwhelming for new players to see all this like seasonal pass stuff, like a bunch of them, and they might not know where to start. But I feel like 343 actually set up a good system here where you're actually able to, uh, you know, start where you want. Uh, you could start in season six or eight. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can start wherever you want. Heck, you can even like jump around. And I feel like they kind of like set a good system to the point where it won't be as overwhelming because you could start wherever you want. Now, sure, if you started at, like, Season 1 and had to grind on from there, then that would be a little more understandable, but I think they had a good system set up, and so I just don't... I don't know, man. I don't agree with this. I just personally would like that stuff to stay out of MCC. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Let me know what you guys think about uh, microtransactions coming to MCC. I'm gonna be honest. I really did not expect to see this, um... Especially with this game being so old, I never really thought they would actually, like, add microtransactions this late into the uh, collection. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, you know, I, I guess if they do support it a lot more, I feel like these updates are pretty, like, you know, it takes a pretty long time for them to come to MCC, which is okay, because they got, like, a small MCC team. But I feel like if they're going to start, like, adding microtransactions like this... They gotta at least support the game uh, even more. So, I don't know. We'll see if that changes anything. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And with that being said, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And it helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.